A red room is a room where you can live stream the murder or torture of a individual. I've bet someone to go find one and show it to me. I'm sure someone has done it. Hi, I'm Pizza Bagel. I'm going by this moniker to protect my own confidentiality and my own safety. I was the executive business director of an extremely large illegal enterprise that made well over eight digits on the dark web. I'm here today with BuzzFeed to help dispel some myths about the dark web. What are the difference between the clear net, the dark net, and the deep web? If you want to think about it like an iceberg, you have what's showing above the waterline, right? So you have just a little, little bit of the iceberg. You have the waterline. And that water line is where stuff starts to get murky. Then you're getting into the deep web. And if you don't know, icebergs are significantly larger under. It's just the tip of a mountain versus the whole mountain. Anything that's not indexed by a search engine, as in anything that you can't pull up on Google so it's not ending in a normal domain, .com, .gov, .org, it is part of the deep web. If something is on the deep web and the parts of the deep web that start to get into criminal activity, that is the dark web. Both are legal to access. Is it illegal to go on the dark web? That is a very common myth. It is is not illegal to go on both the dark or the deep web. You can sign up and you can freely browse any large darknet marketplace. Researchers, law enforcement, and normal citizens do it all the time without any legal repercussions. Where the legal trouble starts is when you start buying things, shipping things, and distributing content. That is where you will get into trouble. Is the dark web bigger than the clear net? Yes. The dark web is significantly larger than the clear net, on average about four to 500 times larger than the clear net. Are red rooms real? A red room is a room commonly painted red where you can live stream the murder or torture of a individual. While you can't say nothing exists, right? I'm sure someone has done it. I have never heard of it, never seen it, never heard of it talked about, and I've even been in bets that they don't exist. I've bet someone to go find one and show it to me, and they couldn't. Maybe they do exist, and when you do hear about them, they are often private. It's not a public done thing. Can you hire a hitman on the dark web? While they one or two might exist, and with hitmen it is small, so hitmen are a real thing from history and still in reality, but they are not remotely common. I've never heard of someone getting a hit placed on them. I've never heard of someone who is taking money to go do it. The hitmen that you hear about more are, would be internal people. So it would be, when you had organized crime with large gangs, it would be gangs sending one of their members to go do it. But these freelance guys who are taking large sums of cash to go do it, never seen or heard of that in practice. Those transactions are often not from the dark web or from the internet, but more of an in-person connection. True or false, the dark web is evil. I would have to mostly disagree with that. The deep web helps to support journalists and people in censor prone countries where it can help to get information out and help to get information in like movies and spread awareness, especially Western culture. So I would say I do not believe it's evil because it does mostly have positive intentions. Are there secret layers to the dark web? So the dark web is accessed to a browser called Tor and it's called the onion router. Similar to an onion, there are layers. While there are different parts and they do tend to clump together, I would not say it is like layer to layer. A lot of stuff just links to other stuff. Can you buy passwords and credit card information on the dark web? Yes, you can buy passwords, credit card information, social security numbers, and a lot of stuff. They tend to be randomly selected. So you're not going to go chase after someone. And if you are afraid of that, I would heavily recommend using a password locker application. They are there to help protect you. The people mostly affected by these security breaches are people who don't take their security seriously. Are there certain sectors to the deeper dark web that are isolated from the rest of the web? Yes and no. There are communities, they're not large. They tend to just to be internet forums where people can basically build off each other. They are usually dedicated to something certain. So you have hackers, you have people who want to go find Atlantis. You have people who operate on the dark net about how the moon landing was fake because they don't want NASA to come assassinate them. You do get these hidden sectors, but they're not as hidden as much as they are just isolated due to the outlandishness of the subject. The dark web is something that has a lot of rumors about it, and it's seen in a very negative light. And I think that we need to overcome it. The dark web started and still largely operates as a safe space for people to convey ideas, messages without fear of repercussions. And the one big thing that I wanna hit home and I hope everyone can take home from watching this video is the dark net does not look like it has dark mode enabled. It is not a scary black background with lines of code going on. It is a very nice and clean user interface. So the deep and dark web host is a safe space. And I think that we need to reduce the stigma behind it.